Welcome to the Effectiveness Tutorial. Today we will go over the step-by-step -step process to successfully analyze effectiveness. First of all, let's ask, what is the effectiveness category? Effectiveness is the result of the superimposition of transportation and volume from the horizontal investigation of IMM, Integrated Modification Methodology. In order to calculate effectiveness, we use the ratio of the total number of public trips divided by the total number of trips. The investigation procedure consists of establishing an intermediate scale through IMM, locate built volumes, locate transportation stops, apply catchment areas to transportation stops, establish an appropriate grid within the parameters of your intermediate scale, and analyze each grid by the rating process. First, we start off with the intermediate scale, which was established during the horizontal process of the investigation. Then we locate the built volumes in that area. Here you can see all the buildings that are in white. So these are all the built volumes in this intermediate scale. Then we locate the transportation stops in the area. There are bus stops, uh, tram stops, and also uh, train stations. So the orange will be the train stations, the bus stops is pink, and purple is the tram stops. So catchment area. What is the catchment area? Well, catchment area is uh, can be the, looked at as the comfortable walking distance. Uh, for a bus, tram station is about to five minutes. Metro station is 10 minutes. So we can say that the bus tram station could be considered 400 meters and the metro station 800 meters. Now we can apply this into our map. So here are the catchment areas applied to our stops. So we can see where the higher density and lower density of catchment areas are uh, located in this intermediate scale map. So here we, we can uh, see it a bit clearer uh, with the grid. So this grid basically is uh, 100 by 100 meter grid, but uh, I believe this grid can change uh, de depending on what uh, area is being uh, studied. So if it's like a different city, it can be a smaller or bigger grid. So here we analyze each grid by the rating process. The rating process is basically uh, this process that is useful for the effectiveness. So the rating process is a process created to rate each particular grid sector to view the overall effectiveness within the city and the intermediate scale. With this process, we can observe what buildings have high accessibility in regards to number of transportation hubs, but also high accessible areas without any built volumes, which as a result become areas of potential development within the intermediate scale. An area with potential means that the transportation infrastructure exists without any volumes around. Once all of these sectors have been evaluated by how many transportation hubs can be reached, we can establish a gradient scale representing the most effective areas compared to the areas of high potential for future development. So here we can see the spectrum, where 13, the warmest color, being the high, most effective areas, highly effective. Low and zero in this case is where uh, no uh, such areas exist. And uh, the deep blue potential areas are the potential areas of uh, future development. So now here we can see more uh, of this, uh, uh, this range. We have the positive range, the zero value potential range. Positive range are the warmer colors, so we see it covers most of the, the intermediate scale and then the potential range in this intermediate scale. And here are different visualizations of, of the results. Uh, and then what's interesting about this is that we can see that there is uh, evenness in, these, in both of these, uh, that there's highly positive ranges and also a lot of potential ranges. So. The infrastructure is there, just uh, buildings in these areas can be applied. So the calculations for the investigation. So effectiveness is the number of trips in public transportation 
divided by the total number of trips. So this is before any intervention, and uh, here are our uh, results. So this is our information for uh, the sources, Belgrade Urban Planning Institute. So here we see that the private transports uh, numbers, public transports, and then the total numbers. And after the calculations, we get an effectiveness rate of 0.62. Comparison before, here we see uh, without any intervention, uh, the, the, the clash of highly effective and potential areas right next to each other. So this is what was taken advantage in this project. Here we can see the results. The white buildings are the buildings that we added in these areas after the master plan. And we can see the results of uh, the changes. So we had uh, added peak rail uh, times and peak rail bus. And our effectiveness rate becomes 0.86. Thank you for listening. Join us next time for another tutorial.